Hello everyone, my name is Benson and welcome back to another West Ham video. Uh, today I've got my new West Ham away kit on. Oh, where are my face? There you go. It's actually kind of smooth. I like the sleeves on this as well. But anyway, today, like today, like what, like 30 minutes ago, was West Ham, not West Ham Tottenham, West Ham Man City. Um, so we drew that game. 1-1, one, one. so it was a pretty good draw against a decent Man City team, but I'll just go, I'll just quickly recap the match, so the new signing, Side Benarama and Craig Dawson didn't play, Side Benarama only had like one training session and Craig Dawson, I don't know, um, I've just got notes up here as well by the way, of the recap of the match. So West Ham started the first half strong and basically just controlled the first half anyway, Man City controlled the second half, but anyway, in the 18th minute, Antonio scored a, a brilliant bicycle kick. I think West Ham were just trying to compete for goal of the month themselves. I mean, we had Lanzini last week, and now we have Antonio this week. He scored a, a brilliant bicycle kick. Kufel got the assist. I mean, if you count davison sanchez's own goal last week then it would have been his assist as well and then that would have been his assist as well uh so yeah basically west ham led at the break one nil so everyone thought oh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight game we might draw or we might win or we might win jeez i've messed up words but anyway so whoa everyone Every West Ham fan was like being happy because we were winning against Man City. They brought on Phil Foden, uh, who basically scored like five minutes after the restart after the se in the second half. So basically, yeah, he scored. Cancelo got the assist, and that's pretty much all he done. Uh, so in the fifty-second minute, like. Uh, like a second, like a minute after Foden scored, Antonio came off because of like an injury or something, I don't know. He just went off the pitch and it just went into the tunnel. But yeah, so he went off, Yarmolenko came on. When Yarmolenko came on, I mean, I feel bad for the guy, nothing really went right. And that's pretty much the only thing the commentators got right in the whole match. Uh. In the 70th minute, Bowen came off and Haller came on. I mean, Haller didn't really do much because her, most of the play was in our half, just defending. But yeah, at the end of the game, it was 1-1. The, the ref, I mean, I don't know what to say about the ref. Uh, apart from he's bad. He's, I, I don't know who the ref was. I need to look it up, but... Who, who was the ref actually? I need to know. Anthony Taylor. Oh, of course it's Anthony Taylor. Of course it's him. He's always bad. He's always shy. Uh, yeah, the commentary also was biased because they had Glenn Odell in, the, in there. So that's basically it. That's the reason why it was biased. Because Glenn Hoddle was there because he hates West Ham because he played for Tottenham. I think he did anyway. Because if he didn't, I, I'm very sorry. But he just very biased. So yeah, um, I didn't do a match report last week for West Ham Tottenham, so I'll probably do that as well. So um, Tottenham basically went three 0 up in like fifteen minutes from a goal from Son, Kane, and Kane. So yeah, that was great. And then a, probably like a cracking half-time team talk from David Moyes. Forced West Ham to score in the 82nd minute, the 85th minute, and the 94th minute or something. Yeah, Balbuena scored from a header for, to for West Ham's first goal. Um, who scored the second one? Oh, Davison Sanchez own goal. How could I forget? I literally mentioned that earlier from a Kufel cross, and then I think everyone's seen the goal by now. But yeah. I'm, I still can't get over it, but Creswell whipped in a fr free kick. It got cleared. Winks got like a touch to it, and then Lanzini from like 35 yards out, like I think 
he hit across it so it basically swerved into the top corner and it was basic it's probably gonna get gold of the month actually no it probably won't bruno fernandez is like penalty will but yeah that's that no one will ever beat a bruno fernandez penalty for gold of the month but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about the match it was it was very entertaining it was like proper proper football like but the, it, it wasn't really proper football, it was like good pl good passing, Masawaku managed to skill his way out of trouble like he does every time he plays. Um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's a good, again, that's for it. West Ham, I think now it's at 10th, only because Chelsea have played like one less game than us and that's it. We're above City, we're above United, so all, all good, it's all good, so yeah. As I mentioned in my FIFA 21 video, it was my, it was, well, at that time it was my birthday in a few days, but right now it's my birthday a few days ago. Uh, so basically I got a, hey, hang on. So basically I got a, a new monitor here. It was pretty slick as well. So yeah. There you go. I just had to pick my tripod on my foot clicks. Yeah, but it's pretty. No it's pretty nice. It's, I think it's like I don't know what P it is, but it's like really high definition. And yeah, basically, I've got my Xbox. I've got my Xbox in here and my Switch in here, so I can so I don't have to go like downstairs to play Xbox games. Go upstairs into my room to play Switch games. So it's easier for me to do like captures and that. So basically, I thought I'd just add that into this video as well. And. Yeah, I might do like a setup tour or something when I get like some other stuff, like after Christmas or something. If I get some stuff for Christmas, but yeah, so that's me. That's my West Ham Man City review thing. Oh, and also just to add for future um, West Ham games, I might be live streaming my reaction or something like from the start of the game, like some other people, like some West Ham fans do it on YouTube. So, so I might do that in the future so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time